all the Bachelor fallout. Everyone's still buzzing about that finale where Juan Pablo decided he just wasn't ready to give Nikki a ring. And they are both speaking out now to People Magazine. ABC's Abby Boudreau has the story. Some have called him the worst Bachelor ever after a season finale that left Claire Crawley stunned and heartbroken. I would never want my children having a father like you. And Nikki Farrell with a rose, but no, I love you. I love you a lot. A lot. A dramatic ending with Bachelor Juan Pablo in the hot seat. Listening to that talk? No, no. Well, Ooh. sending the Twitterverse into a frenzy. One person saying he's certainly no knight in shining armor. And now 32 year old Juan Pablo Galavis is fighting back, telling People Magazine in an exclusive interview out this Friday that he feels misunderstood, saying, quote, what you see on TV, it's not me. I'm not the character of The Bachelor. Juan Pablo is really one of the most controversial bachelors in a long time. A lot of the women had complained that he didn't really seem to care. But the so-called bad boy bachelor tells the magazine, sometimes people say I'm rude, but it's just because I'm very honest. As for Nikki, Juan Pablo says they're still together, though he admits as far as his daughter is concerned, Nikki is just daddy's friend. The 27-year-old pediatric nurse telling the magazine that the backlash against Juan Pablo has been hard to watch. It's not a game. This is like a relationship. Accusing some of her fellow contestants of sour grapes. Even tweeting on Monday, your words hurt no matter what. Unlike bachelors in the past. I love you, Emily. Who've all proclaimed their love. I will love you forever. I am completely in love with you. But then broke up. An engagement for Juan Pablo seems a long way off. Telling People Magazine, I want to make sure I pick the right person. And while Nikki admits she wants Juan Pablo to propose when he's ready, it seems from this Instagram picture Juan Pablo posted after the show, he's happy just being free. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreau, ABC News, Los Angeles. Oh. Come on, you guys were talking about it the whole way. We gotta bring it down to Barnes now. Our relationship guys for co-founder of Date Better. And you know, that moment. He says, I like you, I'm not gonna give you the ring. How do you read it? Well, I, good for him for not saying something that he doesn't feel, because hey. I think that happens all too often. And I think, especially only knowing someone for a couple of months, people make all sorts of promises that they cannot keep. People say, I'll never hurt you, I'll never leave you. And then two months later, they're leaving and the person's gone, but you promised me you'd never leave me, which I think is much worse. I think at least she knows what she's dealing with. Mm -hmm. If you were counseling Nikki, what would you say to her? You know, I'd say hang in there. I mean, she thinks she loves him. I think she's more just infatuated with him. Yeah. I think real love takes many months months and a lot more quality time together than what they've been able to achieve with all these other women floating around in the cameras. So I think, you know, if, yeah, exactly. Be honest, if she came to me at, and I was counseling her and said, I'm going to marry him two months in, I'd go, whoa, right. what are you doing? So is, uh, is there a takeaway here for women in relationships who have not heard those three magical words? Uh, I mean, do how long do you wait? What advice do you have? I think at a six month point into a relationship is a good time to start having like those real conversations. If you're six months in and maybe you feel loved, but he hasn't said it like, you know, and some people are just emotionally unavailable. They have a hard time saying mm. it, but, but I think it takes a good six months into a relationship for your issues to come up anyway. And you do even know what you really feel. I'm looking so. deep into Josh yeah. Elliott's eyes here as we're having this conversation. Yes. Your thoughts? Uh, well, six months, you said? Yeah. Maybe we just need to extend the show then. Oh. Um, I, yeah. yeah. I have many thoughts. Yeah, many. <laughs> but, but the thing is, in, in years past when they've had the show, and, they're, they're, and we saw in the piece, I love you, I love you, and they don't, they don't make it. Right, yeah. We really thought just what he has done, that you really can't fall in love. Yeah, I was they've, just they've, been in, they've, yeah. Seen, they've seen each other a handful of times. Right. Lara asked the question about it, you know, what, when's the right time, when should you expect it? Sometimes it comes way too early. Way too yeah. early. Yeah, and, and I, you, can't, you can't unring that bell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the odds are really against you. I think for people that don't get to know each other and then decide you're the one and they get married, that's why they end up getting divorced. Yeah. Well, I do, and I just do want to say, I think from beginning to end, we have really got a real idea who he yes, is. Yes, we have. So I think you can make your own assessments. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Donna. Thanks. Thank you, Donna. Okay.